Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yeshaya the Christ. Yeshaya the Messiah. Yeshaya of Nazareth. Hallelujah. If you want to know why I call God Ahaya and the biblical Jesus Christ, Yeshaya, um, check the, I've done a video concerning this. Okay. All right. Greetings. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Hallelujah. Yashahel. I know some of you are saying, who is Yashahel? Who is it? Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. All right, it's in Genesis. Oh, next time when I do my greetings, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to remember Genesis. Is it? Oh, yes, I'm funny. Yeah, it's Genesis chapter 32, verses 28. Genesis chapter 32, verses 28, where the most die, Ahaya, changed the name of Jacob to Yah Shahel. Hallelujah. And I greet the 12 scattered tribe. Um, and it's the seed of Jacob, Yashahel. Hallelujah. And the beautiful body of the Messiah, Yesiah. I greet you all in the mighty name of Yesiah. Hallelujah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Um, you can skip this bit if you want to, but a little bit, little bit of housekeeping. Remember to like the videos, subscribe comment watch on the end if you can and all of that all those good stuff it helps with the dirty algorithm that dirty you you has um that's you know shadow banning people really but ahaya is in control okay remember my name sister carrie all right whenever i make a comment my name it is in solid gray border like yeah it is solid anybody else pretending to be me that's a dirty devil you need to rebuke and report them okay brothers and sisters we are continuing with our top 20 i do the top 20 on this video on this channel it's a pleasure to call brothers and sisters name out hallelujah if you want to make it in the top 20 it's a tough one but you'll get there don't give up it's, you see it's training your spirit it's teaching you to be alert to be vigilant to be sober to be watchful to be observant what are you observing for the returning of the messiah because yes haya is coming back again hallelujah so these are the top 20 brothers and sisters underneath the powerful video second trip to yonder x o dos hallelujah i call it a second trip to yonder because we are going and our meeting place it's going to be in south africa a very powerful video to be done on south africa and i'll do that at some point all right so these are the top 20 brothers and sisters on the video all right ice and emma set apart for his glory shanna fisher stacy and small anika satalu blue lily all right Yvonne powell Adiola sings. Shorna Mackenzie. Eve New Beginnings. Enid Stokes. Servant of the Lord. Kara King. Kensua. Kimba Dalion. All right. Kimba Dalion. Oh, lovely. Shama K. Smith Stewart, Queen Queen, Garnetta Reed, The Holy Watchers Ministry, Salma Ortiz, Tashanda Taylor, Hallelujah, Top 20. Brothers and sisters in the most uh, higher our brothers and sisters. So we are continuing with our prophetic theme song. Our prophetic theme song is called We Are Near. All right. We're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, but we're also near to the revealing of the what the antichrist and the lawlessness of sin the lawlessness of sin is basically the nwo it is the new world 
all right brothers and sisters it is the new world all right so yes we are very very near to that we also have a prophetic theme song it's a song that my mommy taught me when I was a little girl I don't know nothing about Illuminati or New Year's Eve song I don't know it's an innocent song to me it's my mom that taught me that song and it's, it's a, the title is we are near and it's a fitting song for the end times because we are near you cannot deny it we are near all right and the song goes like this oh now you are oh now you are oh now you are oh now oh now you are oh now you are oh now you are oh now hallelujah yes we are near and we can sing that song with confidence hallelujah okay brothers and sisters i want to come to you with a very powerful vision it's very very short like super 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 short that the lord gave to me and it's one of those visions you know when i get visions like that i always know in my spirit that it's something that's going to come it's something that's going to come to pass like asap it's not going to be far off so in this vision brothers and sisters i received it yesterday i don't even know what date is it <laughs> I'm not bad with dates. What date is it today? Is it the 5th? I don't know. But anyway, I received it yesterday, brothers and sisters. And um, just before I went to bed. So I lying on my bed. I wasn't sleeping or anything like that. And then the vision just came in front of me. So my eyes were still open. But it was that short and that quick. I've done a video. And I've been warning brothers and sisters. I've been warning brothers and sisters that, that something war like that's not something but there's gonna be a war that's gonna break out in the sea i've seen it and i've done that video now i had a confirmation vision open vision that's it thank you lord open vision that Ahaya gave to me yesterday so what i saw what the lord showed me i saw that i was in the sea but obviously it's a vision so i wasn't sinking or drowning i was just looking at what was going on and i saw the tops of sub submarines all right because you know with submarines if you can remember rightly ooh, submarines they've got a little what is it they've got something on the top isn't it i'm sure they do they do yes submarines they've got a little nozzle a little am i right i'm right and i they've got i've seen it in movie that's why but you still can't even believe the movies so those of you who work with subs you can know but anyway it got a little i saw poking out that's what i'm gonna call it then i saw poking out from underneath the sea nozzles metal nozzles all right um they're probably about two foot or something like that from the sea or one foot from the sea or something like that so when i saw that brothers and sisters i knew straight away that these were subs underneath the sea but i do not understand why they were poking out the heads were poking out and um and so the lord brought me underneath the sea so this is it now i'm underneath the sea so whilst i'm there i can see the body of these subs the submarines i can see the body of them so i said ah these are submarines okay where i was i was <laughs> listen to this brothers and sisters i was the deepest part of the sea i was way down i was absolutely way down and i was literally outside a submarine so while I was looking up, I could see the body of the submarines, but the little nozzles was pushing up in the air, okay? So anybody could see them if you're flying about. But then, like I say, once I'm underneath the sea, I was outside a submarine. The Holy Spirit began to speak. And the Lord says to me, these subs that you're looking at, these submarines that you're looking at, that you can see the body, but the, the nozzle is protruding out. These are Babylon, Babylon US subs. Can't even tell how many of them that were brothers and sisters. Well, quite a few underneath what I was seeing, quite a few, quite a few. 
And the Lord spoke and he said, these are Babylon, Babylon US subs. The Lord said, the one that you're standing next to is Rush Rush. Obviously, the Lord calls the proper name, isn't it? The bear, call, he doesn't call it, he calls it the proper name, all right? Um, but, you know, on you, you have to be careful. So the Lord says that this is Rush Rush. This is Rush Rush that you're standing outside of. But I couldn't understand because while Babylon subs was, I don't know, not really floating, but they were up, you know. Rush, rush, the bear country was way underneath the, the sea, brothers and sisters. The Lord began to speak to me. And the Lord said, this is the only sub that can go as deep underneath the sea. That's what the Lord said in the vision. That rush, rush, subs can go underneath the sea very, very deeply. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. When the Lord began to speak, all of a sudden I can only see the water start to bubble. That bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. And because I was at the side of the sub, all right? And in the vision, the Lord didn't allow the sub to be big and massive because I want to see. But it, it was small, all right? It was small enough so I could know what was going on. And all of a sudden, <laughs> the water starts to bubble. No noise or anything like that. It was so silent. No noise. It's just the bubbling of the water. And brothers and sisters with, oh my Lord, with speed like lightning. Like it was so quick that I only had a quick glimpse of the nuke that was going right up. To the babbling US subs right up there. Don't know if it was going to hit all of them. But definitely it's going to hit one. Definitely what it was going to hit one. What I saw. It's coming brothers and sisters. This, this. Oh my lord. We love you lord. I know some of you are praying for the crane country. Sorry for hearing noise brothers and sisters. It's just the uh, thing. I know some of you are praying for the crane country and you're praying that the most sty will work that, you know, rush, rush, don't take over the crane country. Give the president of the crane country the victory. It ain't going to happen. Like, no, it ain't going to happen. This is the end time. What you need to really pray for um, is to pray for the most sty to lead you and to give you knowledge of these end times. So you understand the times and the season that we're living in. So that you can pray with the spirit. You can pray in the spirit. And you can see results. Because if you pray against the spirit. You're not going to see any results. Brothers and sisters. You ain't going to see any at all. So. When I saw that brothers and sisters. Oh wow. Like I say. It's the bubbling of the water that I saw. And then the, the, the nuki was so quick. I've never seen a nuke in my life, to be honest with you. I'm not even going to lie. Um, but I know what I saw, the glimpse that I, that I saw, the body of it, the head of it is like a pencil, isn't it? And it was silver. No, no, it was gold. Sorry, I beg your pardon. It was gold. So the, the head, it shapes like a pencil. And the head of it, you know, the part of the pencil that you sharpen. So that bit of it was gold in color. And the body was silver. That's what I saw. Gold and silver was the nuke going for one of the subs of Babylon US. And they couldn't stop it. But it's very interesting, really, because subs, really. I mean, I don't want to be, I don't want to talk anything that I don't know, because I, I, don't, I don't know about ships underneath the sea and stuff like that. I call them ships underneath the sea. Um, but subs i don't you know like i don't know why babylon u.s subs were, were floating like you could see the nozzle of them on top because that's the first thing that i saw before i went on the sea you could see the long nozzle poking out and like when i went on the sea the, you can see the body of it floating but i think that sub is subs supposed to go way underneath isn't it that's how they operate i don't know i don't know brothers and sisters but i'm just telling you my vision 
but I know that Rush Rush sub was way under it was so deep for you to for you to detect Rush Rush sub on a, you have to be very good you've got to have some high level gadget because they were so silent no but I don't even know if they knew that were there but they were nuking the sub of Babylon US they got a nuke in the vision I saw it went off Baba said, pray, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. <laughs> Isn't it? Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Oh, these people of war, brothers and sisters. This, this seed. The seed of the serpent. I love the absolutely love war. And what's going to happen is in time, they're going to destroy each other. These countries are going to destroy each other. And... You know, the thing about it is that for those who are soldiers and stuff like that and have walked away from the military and things like that because of the because of that, they didn't want to have that and they got, count your eggs lucky. I don't believe in luck, I shouldn't say that. But count your blessings. Count your blessings because that, that's a blessing in disguise, really and truly. Because Ahaya knows what's coming. And this is inevitable. It is it is going to happen. Rush, rush will 150% um, bite Babylon US. They're going to get bitten by rush, rush. It's coming. So all these visions and dreams, brothers and sisters, they are warning visions and dreams. So just because you see what's going on here now, don't think, oh, tomorrow Rush Rush is going to attack. It doesn't work like that. You get vision in advance and then you wait and be patient. Though the vision tarry, it will come to pass. It will come to pass, brothers and sisters. So I wanted to come and release this very powerful um, vision concerning the bear country and the eagle country that is going to go head to head and we know who is going to win the war in the end if you know what i mean in the end we know exactly how it's going how it's going to go i think in daniel i need to go back to daniel again i think in daniel the bible says that the king of the south shall push at him the king of the north and the king of the north shall push back. Oh, may I pad upstairs? The king of the... This is very important, you know, brothers and sisters. Because according to that, Babylon US is going to try something first with Rush Rush. And they're going to push back. Sure, that's what it says. The king of the south will push at him. Then the king of the... king of the north is VP. The, right, the king of the north, it is VP, and the king of the south is Babylon US. But but that time is when the Antichrist is in power, when the one world leader, sorry, my nose is so itchy. That is when Babylon will be fully attacked, when the Antichrist comes back in power. Because I know some of you are praying, you're saying, oh, you know, we want Trump to come back as president. If Trump comes back as president, America is okay. Babylon, US is okay. Because VP and Trump are buddies. Believe it or not, they are. And he showed you that. He has not said a bad word against VP. Um, so the friends. So then if you're friends, you're not gonna attack your friend yard, are you? You're not gonna do it. Um, so th th this is the reason why I'm saying to people that Trump will not rule and reign over Babylon US the way how it did for four years. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. It may come back on a coup type basis for a very short time it's not going to be recognized it may come back 
because I can't I saw that in a vision he may come back he may come when I say may come back he is coming back to be honest with you he is coming back on a cool type coop coop as a cool cool type basis which the Democrats and the Republicans Republicans will not acknowledge that's just Trump being a bad boy walking in taking the kingdom but it's not going to end well for him but the kingdom will be given over to Barack Obama. He's going to get it again. And we know what VP and Obama is like. The, the enemies, they're not friends. They're not, they're, they're not friends. They might set out to be friends when Obama come back. When he comes back as the United States of America president, they may show some form of solidarity but it's not going to last because the bible says that the reason why i say that because the bible says that the 10 kings gave power for an hour to the antichrist who are the 10 kings they all have the same mind but them so the, but those so, but those same kings are going to turn on babylon <laughs> so those 10 kings include China, Rush, Rush, Germany, France, Britain, who else? Spain, probably the Arab nation, and some more. But the Bible says when you read Revelation, those those kings they turn on they turn on Babylon, they turn, they change their mind. And they turn against. So that's war. A lot of prophecy. I hope I will pray to the most high that these pastors begin to sit down and teach the people the book of Revelation so that you understand the times and the season that we're in. Because I'm coming to you from a prophetic point of view. Hallelujah. A prophetic point of view. All right. So there's many, many things to be unfold. But yes, brothers and sisters, I think we may have a little taste. Uh, I call it taster before the real thing happened, before the real destruction. We may have a bit of taster concerning Rush, Rush, and Babylon, US, a little tug of war, but it's going to be enough to cause great conflict, great concern. All right, it will be enough to cause that. Okay, brothers and sisters, so be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with a higher. Just like Enoch, all praises, all beautiful praises to the most high, Ahaya, who lives above the heavens. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon, someday in glory. And yes, Ahaya is a holy name. Amen and amen. Let's say the benediction together. The benediction is Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise, yes, Hayak, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.